it is my belief that we are part of a movement that is greater and deeper and broader than we ourselves know or can know. It flies under the radar of the media by and large. It is nonviolent. It is grassroots. It has no cluster bombs, no armies, and no helicopters. It has no central ideology. A male vertebrate is not in charge. This unnamed movement, you can clap for that. The unnamed movement. <laughs> is the most diverse movement the world has ever seen. The very word movement, I think, is too small to describe it. No one started its worldview. No one is in charge of it. There is no orthodoxy. It is global, classless, unquenchable, and tireless. The shared understanding is arising spontaneously from different economic sectors, cultures, regions, and cohorts. It is growing and spreading worldwide with no exception. It has many roots, but primarily the origins are indigenous culture, the environment, and social justice movements. Those three sectors and their subsectors are intertwining, morphing, enlarging. This is no longer or simply about resources or infractions or injustice. This is fundamentally a civil rights movement, a human rights movement. This is a democracy movement. It is the coming world. What you're seeing here is the beginning of a list of the 130,000 minimum organizations in the world who work towards social and environmental justice. And that's a minimum. It may be 250,000 groups. It may be 500,000 groups. Read these names. They're unfamiliar to you, most of them, I'm sure, right? They are. We do not know how big this movement is. It's marked by kinship and community and symbiosis. It is Pachamama. It's mama, right? It's the earth talking back, waking up, you know. What you see is your kin on that screen, you know. And to give you a sense of how big this movement is, if I had started this tape on Friday morning at 9 a.m. when this conference began, and if we sat here all day Friday, all night Friday, all day Saturday, all night Saturday, all day Sunday, all night tonight, and all day Monday, we still would not have seen the names of all the groups in the world who we are. It's so new, we can't recognize it. We're familiar with armies and governments and war and churches and religions. But this is, there's no precedent for what we're doing. What you are creating is completely unknown. It is everywhere. There is no center. There's no one spokesperson. It's in every country and city on earth. It is within every tribe, every race, every culture, and every ethnic group in the world. This is the first time on earth that a powerful non-ideological movement has arisen. And during the span of the 20th century, big ideologies were worshipped like religion. They dominated our beliefs. This is to speed it up so you don't have to stay here until Monday night. But ideologies dominate us. Capitalism, socialism, communism, right? In the words of Ed Hunt, Ideologies stalk the earth clad in armor. Right? They fought for the control of our minds and the lands, and it wasn't pretty. And we were told that salvation would be found in the domination of a single system. And this is where salvation will be found. We know that as biologists, we know that as community organizers, we know that as ecologists, it's found in diversity. This movement is humanity's immune response to resist and heal political disease, economic infection, and ecological corruption caused by ideologies. So it is up to us to decide how will we be, who will we be. This is what it is we're building, the capacity to respond. It is about possibilities and solutions. Humankind knows what to do.